Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about near-field communication and the HTC One M8. Now, if you're aware, or not aware even, uh, near-field communication, or NFC tags, are a major part now of our kind of mobile landscape. And what they allow us to do is to interact with other devices or services or data in new and interesting ways. Now, one of the, the most obvious ways for NFC to work is by using near-field communication to have two mobile phones put next, next to each other or near to each other and to exchange information. But near-field communication works in a number of different ways. Really, it's kind of a chip technology that can allow those chips to do all sorts of interesting things. Now, one of those things you might be aware of is things like PassPay or TapPay or QuickPay or uh, PayWallet and a few of these other ones, Google Wallet and so on. And what these allow you to do is to store your payment details on your smartphone. And then when you go to pay for something, instead of having to find your credit card, put your numbers in and so on, or find your cash, all you do is you wave your mobile phone over a reader, hit a button and you build. And that's probably one of the most common use cases that people are aware of with NFC. But what you might not know is you can bring NFC directly into your own home. You can buy NFC chips and you can do cool stuff with them. Now, this is an NFC tag. This is an old one that I had from a spare project that we did uh, last year, I think. And ultimately, inside this little tag here, is a little chip. And this chip is quite smart in many respects. It has data installed, it sort of held onto it. And then by passing a electromagnetic field over it, it can be activated and the data can be read. Effectively, we can power this little chip using nothing but a radio wave. Okay, well, a sort of radio wave anyway. Now the idea here is that NFC allows you to kind of interact with devices and services and data points in new ways. So for instance, one of the things we could do is onto this tag, we could encode some information like an alarm time. So we could say, uh, I want to be woken up each day with an alarm at 8 a.m. On my way to bed, I simply pass my smartphone over the tag and my smartphone reads that instruction and it then sets an action going saying, okay, at 8 a.m. my alarm will go off. But likewise, you could use it for all sorts of information. You could leave it, use it to leave messages for each other using a digital pin board that actually only takes up that big a size, not half a wall. You could use it to store phone numbers on and make it part of a marketing system for staff, customers, and so on in your shop. One of my friends, we set up a way that people could simply swipe the NFC tag in his shop and immediately like him on Facebook. These are the kind of things that you're able to do with NFC. Also, you can have a look at NFC from a point of view of more complex kind of actions. So, for instance, when I walk out of my house, I swipe an NFC tag. That tag turns my Wi-Fi off, turns my data services on, 3G, 4G, etc. Turns my screen brightness up to a comfortable level for use outside and sets my ringtone higher as well. When I come back in, I swipe the same tag again and those settings are reverted down to internal use, in-home in use, as it were. My brightness comes down, my sound comes down and my Wi-Fi goes on and my 3G data goes off. Now all of this just makes things a little bit quicker and easier because all you're having to do is one single action, a swipe, and a series of actions can then be run. So let's take a quick look at how NFC is kind of handled on the HTC One M8. Now unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on which way you look at it, NFC does tend to require some third-party stuff to install onto your phone, some apps, etc. Now, by default, most phones will read a basic list of NFC data, things like web addresses, phone numbers, addresses, map locations, and basic text. If you want to do more complex actions, you have to use apps like Tasker and so on with NFC modules, and then you can bring all of that stuff together. I'm not going to go through that in this particular video. You will find on our channel in our NFC section a wide range of different uh, tutorials going through how all of these elements work. But let's take a look at HTC One's implementation, as it were, because it was slightly interesting, actually. What we have to do is the NFC reader is always on the, the back of the device. But traditionally, we would find the NFC reader underneath the HTC logo, or the device manufacturer's logo. Interestingly, HTC have put theirs underneath here, underneath the camera roll. Okay, so first thing we need to do is go and turn on NFC. So to do that, we need to come into here, we go into More, NFC, and we flick that on. Now, that enables the NFC system. So then what we have to do is locate, really, where the NFC chip is on the smartphone. Traditionally, manufacturers tend to put it under the logo. But as I found with the M8, there's nothing doing there. What we found was it's nowhere else on the device but under the camera module. 
It's a slightly strange thing in my opinion. I don't recall it being there on the M7, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe that is the standard way HTC have been doing it. My concern there is that a lot of the time when you're dealing with NFC, you are supposed to swipe and in many respects they call it tapping because the most efficient way to guarantee that your device has con contacted with the NFC chip and is reading the data is to actually physically touch and tap. You can just pass it across and it will read from a few millimetres away but ultimately it's not as accurate as a physical tap. Having that NFC chip underneath the optics, guess what's going to happen over time? You're going to scratch the optics of that lens. Probably one of the dumbest things I have ever seen in mobile phone design is placing the NFC directly into your camera optics. You're just asking for trouble. Now, anyway, let's ignore that for one moment because ultimately I'm not here to say mm, HTC shouldn't have done that. I'm here to talk about how NFC actually works. Now, what we have there is we have a very basic tag. There's no data on it at the moment. We've not added anything to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find my tag writer. TagWrite is a great little app. It allows you to write all of the most basic types of tag data. You can't do actions, for instance, so you're afraid you won't be able to uh, do things like waking your uh, Wi-Fi up or sending text messages or SMSs automatically from this. But what you can do is set up all of the kind of basic data and write it onto the device. So first let's go into view, and when we check this, it's going to have no data on there. It's just telling me it's dead. So now what we need to do is create, write, and store. We go to new, and in here you can see we've got a range of different things that we can create. We can create bookmarks, contact text, SMS messages, phone numbers. We can launch applications or URIs. Let's do a very simple application launch. Actually, no, that's not because that's not actually simple to do through there. Let's do a very simple web address. So let's go for a bookmark. We'll pick yahoo.com. We're going to simply look at this. We don't need to apply soft protection or anything like that. We're gonna go next, and then all we do is we just pass this under the camera optics. There we go. And you can hear you, we get a completely different tone from the system when it's writing data successfully from, to, compared to when it's failed. Okay, now if we come out of there and we swipe this, oops, get it under the optics, and what you'll then now do is it will fire that link for us. And there we go, it's gone to yahoo.com. So let me just close down Firefox and we'll do that again should always remember to do that, but no, obviously it isn't on my device at the moment. But it's as simple as that, and you can use that to encode any kind of information you kind of want in there. From a point of view of things, using things like Tasker and Actions and so on, it really opens up a new world of kind of automation on your device. What I'd call kind of a point of presence, uh, you know, uh, options. Because now, you know, you can have your tag sat on the wall as you leave the house, one quick swipe and a whole range of actions can be done. Or likewise, you can use this from a great marketing point of view as well. Overall, NFC is always a fantastic option to kind of give you some more cool things to do with your smartphone, but ultimately it also has great opportunities in business as well. Give NFC a try. You can pick up tags very, very cheap these days. You know, five or six pounds will get you a tag starter kit in most cases, which will get you a nice range of different sizes tags for storing large amounts or smaller amounts of information or more complex action chains entirely up to you so do give nfc a try it's well worth checking out and it's great fun we hope you enjoyed this video do please remember to like and comment and if you'd like to please subscribe you can also visit our website and download our android app if you do subscribe you'll be getting a daily dose of the latest tech news hardware reviews android games consoles and basically an honest opinion direct from the uk stay tuned stay androidism